Huh? Yes. This is an ultrasound study of a 27 years old married female parents having three kids complain, referral, weight loss, gradual weight loss for the last few months and swelling of the abdomen. Now this is the liver. Liver is normal. This is the kid, right kidney. And you can see that the right kidney is normal. There is no fluid above the diaphragm. This is the diaphragm. No fluid above the diaphragm. The IUC is not dilated. This is the IUC. The Fatty veins are normal in caliber. These are the fatty veins in view. Better may have possible. So the hepatic veins are of normal caliber. The mirror. And on the left side, this is the supreme. Supreme is supreme measures a 9.7 centimeter up to 12 is considered normal. This is the left kidney. Metasol level. Left kidney is normal. Now the right di uh, left diaphragm. This is the left diaphragm. No fluid seen uh, in the area. In the left pillow space. This is the superior mesenteric cartridge arising from the aorta. This is aorta. This is pure mesenteric artery rising from it. No lymph nodes are seen in this region. This is the pancreas. This is the pancreas. This area. Superior mesenteric vein, superior mesenteric artery, the aorta, IVC, and the spine. No lymph nodes in this region. This is the portal vein. This is the IVC, the aorta. So, up to this, now see the relation of the pancreatic tail with the left kidney in transfer section. This is the left kidney in transfer section. This is the pancreatic tail of the pancreas, which should not measure more than 1.6, so 1.4 normal. Now, as I come down, what we see is there is a lot of fluid in the pelvic cavity as well as peritoneal cavity. This is the uterus in longitudinal section. No myometrial mass, no focal Seeing this is the transfer section of the uterus. And here you will be able to see the ovary. This is the right ovary. These are the developing follicles in the right ovary. Now there is fluid in the pelvic cavity and uh, this fluid is clear in consistency. No septas or debris seen. Now this is the right paracolic, left paracolic gutter. You can see that uh, the, there is a significant amount of free fluid with bowel segments seen floating in uh, now this is the left ileus muscle, these are the bowels and this is the fluid, this is the fluid. I'm going towards the right side and as I go to the right side I see fluid again in the right paracolic as well. As you know this is the and the bowels are seen floating in the right paracolic uh, gutter as well. These are the iliac vessels. These are the iliac vessels on the right side. And these are, this is the fluid, ascitic fluid with bowels seen floating within this ascitic fluid. And the fluid is also seen in the Morrison's pouch. Here we are, you can see that there is fluid between the kidney and the liver. Yeah, yeah. 
So this is the magnified view in fact and this is the this is the fluid, this is the kidney, and here is the liver. So there is fluid. So this is a case of ascites and uh, in our country the most common cause uh, is uh, pox infection that should and it should be ruled out first of all. Thank you.